what are we doing? Uh, we're gonna do a hot shot. Let's go do one. Are you guys ready? Hey, you like my dollar t-shirt from last week? I guess I do. It's pretty, pretty awesome. Welcome to the hot shot, let's go! What's up guys and gals, Bonafide Hustler here, and today we are doing a hot shot uh, here with my brother E Money. Anyways, we're gonna go hunting for some used goods that we're gonna be putting on eBay, Amazon, Craigslist, and my antique booth, hopefully. And with that, we'll make money. And with that, we'll make, and with, whoa. And with that, we'll make, and with that, we'll make, what the fuck? And with that, we'll make money. So, Welcome to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, and if you're subscribed, don't forget to hit that little bell on the side, that will notify you on all Bonafide Hustler videos. Beautiful, beautiful day. I'd just say it's a summery day now. It feels like summer. They opened the pool in my neighborhood now, which is cool. Oh, is it? Yeah, pool's open, man. I'm ready to go. Let's go this evening. Ooh, sounds pretty good. Our very first stop's gonna be at Goodwill, and we should be there shortly. I would, well, we'll be there in about 15 minutes. Dude, it's always been like this. Oh, we got traffic. E Money says it's because it's 10 o'clock, and now we're having a huge debate. There's no rush hour at 10 o'clock. Hey, do you ever drive around at 10 o'clock? Yeah, I do actually. Okay, so do and I. There's never any I've traffic been doing at 10. More than you, for sure. 100%. Uh, no. Hey, guess what? There's what? traffic, which proves that my theory is correct. No, it's probably a wreck or something stupid. It's not rush hour. No city has has traffic usually at 10 o'clock, man. It does. No, it doesn't. This is a wreck or some police lights or something, E-Money. Ask the people that live in Austin. All right, so for those that live in Austin, is there traffic at 10? No. Yeah, I had a little bit of a late start this morning because this freaking Cobra Kai YouTube Red movie has got me watching it. Just back to back to back watching Cobra Kai. Anyways, um, so basically it's like the Karate Kid, not remake, but it's like, I guess a sequel of sorts, right? Yeah, it's just the, what, 30 years later, 20 years later? Oh, man. Years later. It's so, I, I like it a lot. Uh, the acting is a little poor, but I, I'm actually enjoying it. It's quite a treat. It's pretty cool. I'm not going to spoil it. I'm not going to put any spoilers here. I think it's well worth seeing, especially if you enjoyed the very first Karate Kid movie, which, who doesn't enjoy that movie? There's just a lot of parallels. I think you're really going to, oh, man. But it's only on YouTube Red, correct? Yeah. Oh man, it is so good. I really enjoy it. There, there are, I think there are 10 episodes that I saw. I haven't seen them, but in my lineup, there are 10 episodes. They're about 20, 25 minutes a piece. So worth the time. Go check it out. Cobra Kai is really, really good stuff. E Money, trivia question. Uh oh. What's Cobra Kai's mantra? Strike first. Yeah. Strike hard. Yeah. And no mercy. All right, he got it, he got it. Pretty day. So where are you guys tuning in from? Um, that's gonna be your first assignment today on this video. I always give assignments, it's like little homework things, but now, with the amount of people that are watching my channel and commenting, we gotta ask you guys, hey, where are you turning? Where are you tuning in from? I am really curious, so put down your city down below. I wanna see if we, how far we can reach. I wanna see how far the cheddar reaches on this channel. What do you think, what do you think the farthest is gonna be? Scotland? No. UK? This one, I'll probably say that it'll get to Europe. Alright, so he's thinking Europe. I'm thinking Compton. So yeah, I built uh, Ryan Roots that workout yesterday. Anyways, that's the kind of things I think I might be doing for my other channel. Those things take a lot of time to build. It's not like a very easy thing to do. But uh, those are the things that are going to be some of my very, very first offerings on my other channel. But yeah, that's like, that's sometimes the most custom that I'll ever get is that, you know, along with a suggested meal plan, tips, all that kind of stuff. I'm always down to help people get basically to what I have learned and to my level, which takes a while. I mean, I ain't gonna lie about that, but it's the greatest gift of all time. I mean, I think it's greater, it's the greatest gift. There's just there's nothing greater than the gift of fitness. I, don't, I just don't see it. Money's not better than fitness. Um, some could argue that love is better than fitness, but if you're not fit, then how can you love? You know, so I, I really still feel as if fitness is the big one. 
yeah, I drew it up for Ryan Roots, a nice little three-day workout plan. Some general tips in there. And I got a, I got a suggestion from a, a subscriber the other day that I can call any time I get my fitness stuff on this channel and we start talking about fitness stuff, I can call myself the bona fide muscler. It's pretty good though. Like, I, I, you know, whoever you are that uh, suggested that, thank you very much because I might actually adopt that. I want to get you guys fit too. It's just, give me some time. Uh, go check out the other channel called Bod Damn. We are 9,300 subscribers on that other channel and I haven't been putting in much work on that one yet. Um, but I'm gonna bring the same, same upload schedule as this channel very, very, very soon. So there's gonna be a lot of activity there. I urge you guys, go check it out now. Subscribe to that channel, hit that little bell. We're really gonna change lives on that channel for sure, 100%. Hey, if you guys are a Rally Roots fan, go over to their channel and you make sure to keep Ryan Roots accountable on that workout plan, all right? So you put little comments like, you better get your goddamn workout in today or all that kind of stuff. You put that in his comment feed. I'm okay with it. I think he deserves it. He totally does. Okay, we're almost at the Goodwill. Like, we're one exit away. I, man, there's probably five billion pounds of fluff in this, in this video before we get to the thrifting footage. Yeah, but hey, if you're in on Bonafide Hustler Ride Along, that's just how it is. So welcome to my channel. If you just want to see fines and bolos, get out of my channel. It's not all about that. This life isn't all about that. We like to have fun and yeah, the banter is just part of it. Shall we uh, plug in our unofficial sponsor, LaCroix? Our unofficial sponsor is this terrible, LaCroix. terrible Zero water. Calories, that is so nasty. Ugh. LaCroix is so nasty. Ugh. They have that one flavor called Pampelmousse. 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 What does that even mean? Who cares? It's it's just too fancy for sparkling water. You don't call sparkling water Pampelmousse. Just don't call it that. Just call it freaking sparkling water or like melon or lime, lemon. You don't call it freaking bempel mousse. <laughs> what the hell is this thing called? Uh, peach pear. Peach pear. See, that's, board, enough, that's borderline yeah. like too much. That's already two words that, yeah, that's just not right. I mean, that's kind of okay. Yeah. That's where I draw the line. But bempel mousse. That's like, all right, walk the plank. You're out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> this is so stupid. Don't call it a move. You can't, you call it a word that like half of America probably can't even say. I'm probably not even saying it right. Bempel moose. Bempel moose. All right, without looking it up, <laughs> type that down below. This is homework assignment number two. Spell it and what do you think it means? Yeah, what do you think it means? And just put it down below as you think it is spelled. Who on the LaCroix board meeting past that name for that LaCroix, stupid LaCroix. drink. Oh my gosh. LaCroix. 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 You know, the funny thing is, I think it's technically called LaCroix in America, yeah. but it's not. It's LaCroix. Like, just look at the way it's done. Even Americans F it up. Oh, have, I have not been here. I'm not even kidding in about a week and a half. I'm so excited to be here. I can't wait. So, let's go make some money. Alrighty, money. I'm gonna go full Pempel Moose on this freaking place. Oh. I'm tempted to get these. What? What? Dude, you suck. Sorry I got wasted last night and I didn't show up to church. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> There's Kayano 22s, but they're kind of blown out. Cool KDs, man. Oh, that's so nice. How much? 25. That's so sick. Dude. I'm actually probably gonna keep this one. Yeah, you should keep this one, you ding dong. Dude, this one's super old. Nice, dude. Oh my gosh. Fine, you keep that. Guess what? I'm hustling these. Ha ha ha. I told dude. you about these. These are nice, aren't they? Check this out. Found some Shack Attack Reebok pumps. Thirty bucks. Actually, for twenty-five bucks. The ten percent off. Or you order pizza You all pumped up? I'm all pumped up, man. Yeah, these things might shake out. Sorry. So these are uh, Reebok pump Shack Attacks. This is probably gonna shake out somewhere between because the size is really good on this one. It's size eleven. These will probably shake out. I think between ninety and one twenty, something like that. I paid twenty-five for them. 
pretty nice. It's a Mount Khaki uh, original mountain pant right here with new with tags. So this was 15 out the door. I think this is going to sell for around 59 or so. So I had to bend my rules a little bit for this one, but uh, yeah, good scores. All right, Goodwill. Thanks for the solid scores. You think I should hustle my my way through coolers to get to the Yeti? Yeah, you need to get a Yeti cooler. I'm serious. Like, I'm sorry if people out there are like, oh, he's a Yeti guy, and like he's only buying Yeti stuff. Yeti stuff is legit. I have brought my Yeti cooler to remote locations. It goes on the weekends to the lake and stuff. It is like literally indestructible. All right, so we're here at the Savers and kind of just waiting for this VW van no to get out of here, but there's something really weird going on. There's some dude just jamming out in the parking lot. Look at this. Hell yeah, I just got the best deals of all time. Yeah, and I'm looking at a car. I love that song. Feel pretty good about today. Okay, I guess, I guess he's singing. There's a stereo cassette player Tom and Jerry thing from way back in the day. Look at that thing, that Walkman. It's pretty cool. Oh. Nice. Let's see it. Oh my gosh. Who makes it? Nice. I'll look this one up a little bit. This is a pretty cool ski right there, that colorful one. I think you have a handicap. Yeah, that's your handicap. Alright, so I popped on a Tamrack uh, camera backpack. I'm going to see if I can use it at my house. If it's any better than what I have, I might switch to it. Either way, I could probably sell it for about 50 locally. E-Money could probably sell this for about 60, 70 locally. And we have a Lowy Pro right there. This is a Good huge, brand. huge bag. Yeah, it's an awesome, awesome bag. So yeah, if you want to learn more about bags, I'll put it as a first pin comment below. And for those people that have the bag guide, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. But yeah, first comment below will be my bag guide. And you'll see why we pop on things like this. And you'll see why and how you can start making some money supplementing your income stream. Something simple as bags. Look at this. This is $10 and this was $12. Actually, I had a discount. It was actually $10 as well. So think about that for a second. It's crazy. All right. So we're here at the Goodwill. Oh, we're admiring this. Uh, TRD Pro with a C4 or C5 bumper. It's pretty sick. Man, I think it's nice. Dang, nice cruiser. This is a Schwinn cruiser. This thing's sick. Come on. Here. Last yeah. Spin bike? I did. It's like, what is this? What is it? Spider. Oh, cool. You're going to get it? It's not no, it's here. definitely not even close to what I had. Shoot down here. I want to take a look at What's up? Yeah, right here, there is a Tumi right here. I might look it up, but this got some significant wear and tear on the handle. I mean, it's definitely a Tumi, 100% Tumi. 10 bucks. It's a tough call because it's got a fair amount of stains on it. And while it's a good brand, the stains are kind of killer. This right here is a North Face bag. Pretty interesting. I think it's a climbing bag from like way back in the day. So trying to figure out a little bit of what I got here. This is definitely a more of the vintage climbing bag. I think I'm gonna have to get it just on principle. All right, E-Money's looking at some stuff for FBA. Um, all right, so we got that with a Goodwill. I uh, decided to get into a North Face, vintage North Face climbing bag. Really, really hard to find stuff, honestly. So this is from back in the day. Um, probably back in the A5 days. This is just a single shoulder sling bag with a drawstring top. And you can put your carabiners, your Climbing shoes in there, probably you're climbing rope. It's gigantic. Open That's it up, awesome. E-Money. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, that looks really good. <clears throat> totally reminds me of like old school. Look at that. Look how big holders. it is inside for all the rope and everything. Yeah, it's huge. man. Anyways, I think this is the right buyer. It's going to shake out somewhere between 70 and 100. I think I could flip it for 50, like no problem. Fast. Is this like what they normally have, like the rope, like dangling down below them with all the rope in it? Yeah, it could. I mean, it's just really awesome. It has some holes on it, but it gives it a lot of good character. And none of these are, you know, compromising the bag at all, so it's pretty awesome. Those bags, man, they're just popping. Wow. Decided against that Tumi bag. Just a little too ragged for me, but if that thing had been in better condition, that's it. I would have bought that one, too. We did see a bike rack in there, too, but it was missing a piece. But that bike rack was 25 bucks. It would have sold locally for 80 bucks all day. 
it was missing a very small piece so i'm glad he money spotted very it. very crucial though all right last one goodwill boutique prices, prices are going to be a little bit higher here but hey we're hustlers we could try to find some money here i think we're not quite at taco level profits today although yesterday i hit some really amazing profits so i might combine the two days and get tacos i'm not 100 percent sure yet i'm kind of enjoying this week for what it is because i know next week is going to be crazy and it's going to have a lot of work involved so I'm, a little, I'm slightly more lax this week but hopefully i can get some hot shots pumped out next week if you guys want hot shots next week let me know you know when you have to build some infrastructure for some of your future stuff it takes planning and that's what i need time to do all right so here we are at the goodwill boutique e money we're at the boutique yeah i can't wait oh hey we're at the boutique you think you're gonna hadouken the door oh it's a hadouken door it is a hadouken door ah uh, okay hadouken. Oh, God. <laughs> a sewing machine or something up here white maybe that's no, a challenge what you see money right off the bat Mm, we'll see. Maybe. Dude, those are actually pretty cool looking. Dang. Mom, do you have any bagel bites? Mom. A pair of cool renegade shorts. They were $8 out the door. I think if I get my keywords straight, I think I can get these sold for about $45.50. Again, bending my rules a little bit. But this shouldn't be uh, in my store for longer than maybe two weeks, I would think. E-Money popped on a 12-piece train set for 200 bucks. And you think you could probably get it all sold for about 400 right? Yeah, I'm gonna try four. 400 So yeah, there's a, it's a Pittsburgh Steelers uh, Bachman uh, official brand new. So there we go. And there's a bunch of it here. The good thing is it has star, all the stuff is in styrofoam. So it's ready to ship the way it is. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> like super go big or go home. All right, we're gonna celebrate these profits. My profits from yesterday, today combined. I'm gonna get some tacos. We're here at Taco Deli. E money's in the house, feeling strong about a train purchase. Man, Still, I'm like, I can't wait to list it. Just freaking send it on its way. I can't wait for you to go. If there are people in line, I just want you to stab them. All right? Why? So we can get our tacos sooner. Oh, hey, it's E money here. Get them. If you guys are enjoying the vlog, please hit the like button. Comment. I got a compliment on my shoes, by the way. That last goodwill. Some way to like them. Are those? Yeah. Get the these are the best, man. These are the best. Anyone ever said they're like really patriotic? Yeah, that's what the lady in the Goodwill said. She's like, you're so patriotic. Grabbing these tacos. What's up to Jeff right there? Good, good to see him. What animal does my brother's hair remind you? <laughs> Not a monkey. A skunk. A skunk, okay. You're a skunk, e money. You're a skunk, e money. Hey, skunk. What? what are you looking up, Skunk? Uh, just checking out the green room. Go, lean back the way you were. Why? Just do it. Like, your head looks kind of small for your body. Uh, <laughs> uh, Beetlejuice? <laughs> it's kind of Beetlejuice. It's kind of uh, Chul Soon, you know who that is? <laughs> <laughs> who knows who Chul Soon is? Go look him up. Go on his Instagram right now. Let's take a look. Oh All right, we're going to go to Chul Soon's Instagram. And you'll kind of see what I'm talking about when it comes to the small head thing. He's gonna laugh in literally less than 10 seconds. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> I told you. All right, let's see it. <laughs> this is a real guy. This is a real guy. This is not doctored up whatsoever. All right? Look, you see what I'm talking about? You see it? E Money, do you see it? <laughs> Oh, I'm just, I'm just busting his little nuts. Mm. So done with the tacos, really good. E money. I just saw some guys over there that are walking into that store or whatever. They were totally oh, no. I effing your truck, dude. Yeah, they were totally E effing Emerson's truck. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. No virgin truck anymore. Ha ha ha. At the house. Just sold something on Craigslist, pretty sweet. Also went to the gym, got an awesome leg workout done. Let's go look at those trains at E-Money's house. I wanna show them to you. Right, let's go see Emerson, come on. Come on, come on, Peter. Let's go see Emerson. Shalom, E-Money. Go say hi. Hey, guys. I wanna show them your, the trains. Okay, yeah, I was actually about to go out the door. 
Why? Jim. Okay. Uh, yeah, I haven't taken the picture yet. I think it's the... Uh, already listed the Lowy Pro though. So you got a bunch... Wow. Still relatively sealed, so that's... Looks pretty good, The caboose yeah. on that one. So these are all Pittsburgh Steelers? Yeah, all these are Steelers. And these are Bachman, right? Yeah, uh, I forget what it's called. Something Man, look at that one. Bachman. It's got the crossing yeah. things and everything. So that's pretty killer. On there. Yeah, I mean, just a whole bunch of... And they all have their certificates on top. Well, that's pretty cool. See all my right. track. So I get the uh, idea here. Comes, pretty yeah. cool, E-Money. E-Money done did a good job. Hey man, you gonna see Cobra Kai later? Uh, maybe. All right. It's possible. Cobra Kai in full effect tonight, Bonafide's house. All right, I'm gonna get this thing edited for you guys. Hopefully you can see me, but uh, I enjoy you guys hanging out with me. Uh, answer all my questions that I asked you on the video. And I will see you on the next Bonafide, hold on. Make sure you like the video. If you don't like the video, we're gonna have some problems here. All right guys, I'll see you on the next Bonafide Hustler right along, hot shot, maybe even a hustler life. Okay. Take it easy. Goodbye!